the people who settled here originally came from the jungles of South America. The river, originating from the great mountain La Saucier, was the highway and main area of activity. For those who settled here, the river, its tributary, and the valley were Mabuya, the spirit of the snake. Mabuya Valley in the heart of the Denwe Basin lies an historic treasure. Remnants of our ancestors who roamed these lands centuries ago. These 418 acres of land with a wide canopy over the lush hills and mountains is home to the Fordor Nature Reserve and Historical Park. The entrance to the park is located just off the main highway that forms the East Coast Road. It falls within the coastal component of the Mabuya Valley Development Project that seeks to provide sustainability for the residents and the environment. The MVDP is the government organization responsible for developing and operating the park. We thought that the best thing that one could do is to transform this place into something which is beneficial to all. So the Fonda Nature and Historical Park became a reality. And that was done through consultation with residents over several meetings over the past few years. And the whole vision came about. And that's where we are now. The park became another of the island's nature heritage tourism sites and was officially opened to local and foreign visitors in February this year. This was first the site of a cotton plantation in the late 18th century, until sugar replaced cotton in 1787. The ruins here are of three different sugar mills, the cattle mill, the steam mill, and the windmill. This piece of equipment on my back is a, was a steam mill, it uses water in the form of steam to generate, to help it work. The steam mill is approximately 200 years old. It was the last piece of equipment to be brought on the site. Huge trees reaching as tall as 80 feet are rooted deeply within the earth, symbolizing how nature tends to preserve and embrace history, generation after generation. This forested area is home to a variety of species of wildlife, like the salamander lizard, the boa constrictor snake, and iguanas. From this height is a panoramic view of the valley below. This magnificent rock emerging from the sea is a symbol of the evil spirit Mabuya. It is an extraordinary landmark overlooking the valley. The people call it the Mabuya Man. The interpretation center at Fort Door is perched on what is believed to have been the site of the original planter's house. On display are pictures of artifacts of the early settlers, which were discovered at Fordor not too long ago. When pieced together, these allow historians to interpret the life and livelihood of the early settlers. This is a body stamp. It was customary of the Amerindians to paint their bodies into intricate designs from colored dust or anato. A three-quarter mile walk along hiking trails from the mangrove leads to the four-door beach. Although the coast is clear now, many visitors come here to enjoy the sand and sea. Leatherback turtles come here to lay their eggs during their mating season, and turtle watching has become popular to the four-door beach. We were surprised to find that it wasn't just 
a walk down to the beach. Uh, we expected just a walk to see where the turtles lay their eggs and we were surprised to find that there was so much else that was of interest about the history and about the farming and about the way that people have lived on the island over the past years. And perhaps it is that opportunity to uncover ancient secrets with every step that has given rise to the park's theme, The Secret Traces. So far, eight persons from the valley are employed here as tour guides, security and maintenance personnel. An initial grant of $55,000 from the European Union has helped in making it possible for the site to reach this marketable stage. But with more financial assistance from the European Union and the government of St. Lucia, the MVDP is looking forward to implementing some of its long-term strategies. We also look at the whole question of bringing in additional activities, for example, horseback riding, um, where we would like persons in the valley to take that, take that opportunity. The question of handicraft is another area we're looking at, where we have a number of persons in the valley presently involved in doing little handicrafts, and what we feel that by enabling them or creating a handicraft center down at Fordo when the tourist comes, to visit Fordo, at least that can spill off as far as generating revenue for these individuals. The Fordo Nature Reserve and Historical Park is ideal for family picnics, school field trips, or to simply get away from the hustle and bustle of the city for a while. Arrangements may be made through the Mabuya Valley Development Projects at 453-3242.